Hello everyone, welcome to the Lost Legacy Collectibles Guide. Now normally I like to do one video of the entire game, all the collectibles in one guide. However, I just don't have time because I'm moving, so I don't know if I'm going to have them all ready prior to launch. So we're going to do it chapter by chapter, starting with the prologue. Right at the very beginning, follow a little girl here. You get close enough down here, you'll see the camera icon. You hit triangle and take your first of 28 photos. Now you can access the photos you've taken at any time by hitting the touchpad and you can look through your camera to see all the photos. Now there's only two collectibles here in the prologue and the second one is going to be our first of 68 treasure. In addition to the treasure and the photos we're going to have to also listen to all the optional conversations, open every lockbox, and there's a couple of collectibles, the Hoi Sola tokens, those are chapter specific, that'll be in its own video. But follow the little girl down here, story related, she took your treasure from you, you're going to take it back from her, how mean is that? And that is going to be our first of 68 treasures. All right, welcome to chapter one. These are all the collectibles. Well, all one of them. There's only one collectible. It's the treasure here in chapter one. So we're going to be in and out of this one real quick. But once you go through the house, you're going to make your way up to a roof here. And you'll know the location because you're going to see all this laundry on the clotheslines. If you look to your left, out in the distance is the sparkling treasure. So we're going to walk over there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this action out there. Looks like we got some jets there, laying some bombs, that's not very nice. Perhaps a lot of civilians killed, but who knows. Alright, so anyways, let's go pick up the treasure, and that's it guys for chapter 1. Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 2 in Lost Legacy. We are going to find a, a bunch of collectibles here, starting with our second photo. It's the first one of this chapter, of course, but the second photo in the game. Right as you start chapter 2, it's right next to... You're going to, in fact, see the prompt before you even move to hit triangle to take that photo. Most photos are difficult to find. This one, however, quite easy. So we're going to find a treasure. This is number three, that's the third one total in the game. And you're going to reach this section where you got to take a kind of a makeshift zip line there. Before you go down, before you slide down, come over here behind the building right next to that white barrel is our third treasure. So speaking of that little zip line, let's go ahead and do this, and this will lead us to the fourth treasure. You're going to come down here, you got one guy you're going to have to deal with, so let's go ahead and take him out. We'll go inside this little shack just next to us. Inside, we got to pull out that box, but before you do, make sure you grab that treasure, and we're going to move on to the fifth treasure. So we have another box we need to move, this isn't the same as the previous one, and you're going to push it over here, you're going to... Let go of it is going to create a hole in the floor before you jump down. Go right back to where the box was and underneath it is where the treasure is. So we got two more treasures in chapter two. Let's go ahead, number six. We're going to cross a beam there. We're going to do some platforming and we're going to enter inside another building here. Now there's a, a hallway behind a secret, well not really a secret hallway, but a hallway to the left there. You got the main room here and you got the hallway here to the left. Go down to the end of this for treasure number six. Treasure number seven. This is when you're going to be in the antiques uh, area in this house and you're kind of searching for an object. I'm not going to spoil anything, but when you're in here, you're going to see a bunch of objects you can interact with, you can flip, look at. In here is a treasure, of course. There are a lot of treasures. I don't know why this one is more valuable than the rest, but we're going to go and pick that up, and that'll do it for chapter number two. Hello, everyone. Welcome to chapter three of The Lost Legacy. We're going to find all the collectibles here, starting with a photo. This is going to be the third one we will have found if you found all of them up to this point. And the first one is actually right where you start. You almost don't even have to move. You just have to rotate your camera slightly to the right, take a couple steps, and you'll have the icon there. Hit triangle, and that is our third one. Of course, you can check your st uh, status of all your collectibles to progress. If you hit the options button, you can go in the statistics. Now photo number four is going to be a little bit later on. We're going to get inside a jeep and we're going to go through a little tunnel there, follow the stream up here. Now you don't want to go too far here. Right at the very edge uh, you're going to drop down. If you drop down and you've gone too far you're going to have to replay the chapter. So stay in the left side of the stream. Again you don't want to drop down which is just ahead here and you're going to see a bunch of flamingos. Now if you go on the left side of the stream you'll have the camera icon there so go ahead and take a photo. 
And then we're going to take the Jeep, drop down into the where the flamingos are. And you see the rock shaped like a ramp just ahead of us. Well, on the opposite side of it, in the water, is going to be our eighth treasure. So again, you can check your progress on the treasure by hitting the options button. You can, there's actually a menu specifically just for treasure. You can also look at the statistics screen as well. So our ninth treasure in the game, if you've got all of them up to this point, is where you got to pull the doors open using the winch of the Jeep. Now, a bunch of guys are going to ambush you. Once you've taken care of all of them, climb up here, and one of the guys you've killed will have dropped grenades. Now, we're going to pick up the grenades, and there's a weak wall right next to us here. So we're going to hold R1 to aim the grenade, or just tap it if we want to throw the grenade willy-nilly. Break open that wall. That'll reveal the location of the ninth treasure. So after you pick that up, get back into the Jeep, and now we're going to go through the doorway that we've uh, busted open here. And we're going to follow the stream once again. And it's going to kind of wind around a little bit to the left. Now we're going to look for two waterfalls. They're going to be on the right-hand side. You see one right in front of us. There's a second one there. Right between those two waterfalls, there's going to be an opening, a hidden path. So we're going to jump out of the Jeep and get caught up by a, a little bush. And then follow this little path all the way to the end to find the 10th treasure. Now the next one's going to be a photo. This one actually took me quite a bit to find. I had to replay the chapter four or five times to get this one. But at the very end, where you got the large temple, and there's a water area uh, that precedes it. If you go kind of in the center of this area, you will see the photo opportunity. You have to get real close to those before they'll even appear to you. So we're going to find our next item. It's a lockbox, our first of 21 lockboxes. All the lockboxes look the same, and usually they're inside of the back of a Jeep or a truck, as we're going to see over here in a second. Now, we're, we're very close to where the previous one is. This is kind of at the end of the chapter. So we're going to come back up here, and there's the lockbox. you got to pick the lock, of course. So once you've done that, it'll open up the box. Usually inside of the box are going to be a weapon, uh, a golden gun. There's a trophy for getting 30 kills with a golden gun, and a lot of rare guns that you want to use. Occasionally, you're going to see a treasure inside of the lockbox. Uh, primarily, I think in Chapter 4, you'll see that quite a bit. All right, so moving on, we've entered the temple, and we've jumped over to this wall in where you have to drop down into the Jeep. Nadine's going to move out of the way so Chloe can drive. However, we don't want to drive just yet, so immediately jump out of the Jeep, turn around. Over here to the left-hand side is the final collectible in Chapter 3. Hello everyone, welcome back to Uncharted Lost Legacy. We're going to do all the collectibles in Chapter 4, for which there are a ton. First one is going to be right here, the photo in the Western Gats. So we're going to get it, uh, out of the Jeep here in a second, but first they're going to tell us to open the map. So we're going to do that by hitting the touchpad. Now I created a map that you can use as a guide. I'll put a link to a description if you just want to see the image. This is basically where we're going to go. I'm going to, for the most part, go counterclockwise, and I'm going to get the two treasure in the, in the middle at the very end. So if you want to reference that, you can check out the link. But the first photo, once you get uh, open the map there, you have to get out of your Jeep. Make sure you do it before you drop down to the next section, otherwise you won't be able to get back up here. So we're going to go find the prompt there to hit triangle. Go ahead and snap that photo. That is number six in the game. Now our second lockbox is going to be a little northwest of that previous one. You're going to see the lockbox over there to the left hand side. In order to get there we're going to have to go climb up this side. Now this is kind of on the path over to one of the Hoysala tro uh, tokens. I don't have a, I'm not going to put those in this video. I have those in a separate video if you need it. You can also see them all on your map once you get to the northeast corner. Uh, the area where the monkeys, you can actually get them popped up there. But that was the first lockbox in the chapter. The second one in the chapter, the third one in the game, is going to be a little east of there. This is another area where you're going to find a, ho a Hoitella uh, token. But first, before you get to that area, there's a lockbox there. So open that up. Now we're going to go to where the token's located. In order to get that token, you're going to use a grenade to blow open this wall over here. Now, doing that will uh, grant you access to where the token is located. It'll also grant you access to where the next photo is. So the token is over here to the right-hand side, so go ahead and grab that if you haven't yet. And then come up over here to where the statue is. He is pointing towards the Trident Fort, and we're kind of making our way over that, but right in front of that statue is the photo opportunity, so go ahead and do that. Another photo, we're going to uh, go a little northeast of that previous location, and we're going to be looking towards all the waterfalls from the basically the, the lower level of them. 
So in this big open area, you're going to have to find the, uh, the photo location. You can kind of see those little glowing dragonflies indicating where the photo location is. So you can use those if you can't uh, find your way there. And you can see I got the picture didn't happen trophy because that was my final photograph. I had to do it through chapter select. Now we're going to go up to uh, the follow the waterfall path a little further east. And we are on the south side of the water. And there's actually a little hidden tunnel over here to the left hand side. So we're going to go backtrack through here and you can already see the glowing treasure sitting right there. So we're going to pick that up. And then there is another treasure nearby. So we're going to go get that. You can see we're kind of in the middle of the water now. And you're going to see two waterfalls, and it's actually going to be on a little uh, climbable uh, platform just in front of us here. And, of course, if you get all the tokens, all 11 of them, you can go and exchange those and get the uh, Queen's Bracelet, the Ruby Bracelet. That'll actually help you find the treasure a little bit easier. But speaking of treasure, we're going to have another one. Keep following the waterfall path up. We're heading towards the Trident Fort. Now, once you get towards the top, we're going to have to kind of backtrack, go down and so this little path here and follow this straight over here to where this little stone pillar is and right next to it is the treasure. So now we're going to get an optional conversation, our first in this uh, guide, our first of 17. And this is actually going to be right in front of the, the Trident Fort. As you approach the fort, if you look up, you can see the L3 prompt there. You need to hit L3 to initiate this optional conversation. This actually isn't the optional conversation. Nadine's gonna walk towards you and she'll have the little That's prompt good. there with the three dots. You have to go and hit triangle on her to get credit for it. Now there's a lockbox in the area. After you clear out the fort and you exit the fort, you're gonna drop down and we're right by the front entrance of the fort where the optional conversation was. Well, there's a new truck here that wasn't there previously. So you're gonna climb up to the back of this and unlock that box. Again, you have to clear that fort in order for this uh, truck to appear with the lockbox. So now we're going to do a treasure. It's over by one of the, the token forts. And there's a little path uh, just to the left of the water. If you follow the water, you'll see the path here that's going up that's going to wind around. We ourselves are going to wind around right to a treasure right around the bend over here. I'll be right back. You got it. All right, so again, continuing uh, counterclockwise around this area, we are near another token location. So here is a very easy fort right there. That's where you have to uh, pull the lid off the, the hidden area. This truck is going to be here only after you pick up that token. If you don't pick up that token, that truck will not be there. So right behind you, there's the stone elephant. We just need to go around to the other side over here, and we're going to climb up it. Going up it will lead us to a treasure. It's going to be inside the elephant's eye. All right, so nearby, we're just going to go travel a little north. We got a few, quite a few things that we're going to get over in this area. First, we're actually kind of by the monkey fort where you put, uh, put all the tokens. But before that, you're going to climb up to this area here pick up the 17th treasure now you'll see a lockbox straight in, uh, in the distance below us so we're going to go run over to that this is a special lockbox because not only do you get credit for unlocking this box you're also going to find the 18th treasure so we got a two for one special right here so pick that clean there's of course usually a good weapon and there are a lot of gold guns are inside of these so i'm going to go ahead and pick that up don't need any grenades, but I do need that treasure on the left side of the box. So make sure you pick up that treasure before leaving this area. Now we're going to go over to what I call the monkey fort. Once you go in this area, you're going to find monkeys in the back. You're going to go up to this cliff side here and take a photo of it. Now we're going to get some other treasures, an optional conversation and a photo in this area. These you cannot get until after you get all the tokens. So come back here after you've got the tokens, after you get the queen's bracelet. Then you can get gain access to the back area where the monkeys were. And there are three treasures right next to each other. Real simple. Again, you need to have acquired all 11 tokens and gone to that little map there and put the tokens there to reveal this area. Now in this same area, we're just passing where the treasures were. Come back here to this pillar where there's monkeys. Hit triangle on that to search it, 
this is going to start the optional conversation. So Nadine's going to walk over here in just a second. So now I can initiate it by hitting triangle. Now before we leave this area, we got one more thing. We got one more photo. And there's a, the uh, optional conversation trophy because I, again, did it through chapter select. There is one more photo right near us. This is actually kind of opposite of where the first photo was just a moment ago. So go ahead and walk up over here. It's actually behind us. To the left is where the action's at. My camera's not pointing at it, of course. But that is the 10th photo. That was amazing. Now we got another lockbox. We are going to head a little south and west, and we're going to find another token fort. This one's pretty easy. It's going to be in the back of this truck. Usually when you find one of these trucks, there's going to be a lockbox in it. Not always. There's going to be a second lockbox in this area as well. Just a good maybe 100 yards away. You're going to see another truck. However, it's not actually going to be in the truck. It's actually going to be behind it to the left side. So we're just going to swing around over here to acquire it. All right, so now we travel just a little north and we're going to find a treasure. This treasure is kind of like just randomly placed out in the middle of nowhere here. You're going to see these red flowers. It's going to be inside of this area here. And then we're going to have a photo basically west of that location. Now you're going to see a waterfall uh, to my right hand side. I'm going to pass it. You're going to see this really colorful tree here to the left side. It's a very uh, uh, unique looking tree. This is the spot we're going to get out at. And we're going to try to look for the little prompt here. And then just flash it on the screen there for just a split second and I missed it. That's how much of a pain in the butt it was to find these things. So eventually there it is. I found it. We'll turn around and take a photo of that up there on the cliff side. Now we're going to get another treasure near the another token location. Now this is the, uh, the fort where you have to do the horse puzzle with the dials. And you'd normally climb up there. However, we're just going to go skip past that over to the water, past the water there, and climb up a second en uh, entrance area here. And straight in front of us will be treasure number 23. All right, so now we're going to go head towards the Axe Fort. This is another one where we're going to get credit for unlocking a box as well as finding a treasure inside. So just outside of the fort, uh, the axe fort, you're going to find this truck, this lockbox, and inside the lockbox, you're going to find a treasure. Now, there's going to be an optional conversation in front of that fort. However, we are not going to go do that just yet. We'll come right back here in just a moment. First, what we're going to do is get inside our Jeep. So from that, basically, that location, we're going to find a tunnel that goes underground to a the uh, back, kind of back of, of the previous area we've been. So we're going to travel down here. This, I believe, is my final treasure as well, so we're going to get a trophy here as well. I'm just going to take a look around. I'll keep myself... Again, you can do all of these through Chapter Select. Took me a little while to find all of the collectibles in Chapter 4 just because it is the, the only real big open area in the game. Plus, there's far more collectibles in this chapter than any other in the game. And there's the uh, tr uh, Trophy Collector of Antiquities. So now let's go back to that fort. So we're going to go past that truck. We found the lockbox. We are going to eventually have to use the winch on the Jeep right up here to, to break open these doors. However, before you do any of that, when you go up to the fort entrance, help, hit L3. You can see it's right there on the top of the entryway there, the axe. Hit L3. That will prompt Nadine to come over to you which point you can then start the optional conversation. So next up is a photo inside the Axe Fort. After you do the first puzzle room, when you go to, towards the next one, you're going to come outside briefly for just a moment, go up to the edge of the cliff in front of you here, and that is where we can take the photo. All right, so next up we got a treasure. Now we're going to go kind of head way southeast, uh, west of where we just were. And there is going to be a little bridge here made out of uh, trunks of trees. And in the water here, in the rocks rather, is where we're going to find treasure number 26. Treasure number 27 
not far from that area we're going to go climb up and we're going to climb up into a, a kind of a hidden doorway here and you can see i'm already inside that we climbed up through that opening above that door inside this room is going to be the treasure lock box number 10 we're going to find this uh, by another token actually this is where you get the token as a matter of fact so we're going to get credit for opening a lock box as well as finding a treasure so when you open this up, there's actually three things, uh, two things of importance in here, the treasure as well as the Hoi so uh, Sala token and the gun if you enjoy those types of things. There so there, I picked up the token. Find escapers. I meant to pick up the treasure first so we could have expedited this, but nonetheless, that's where you get the token and then, of course, make sure you get the treasure. So just... East of there, we're going to find another photo location. This photo spot is actually aiming towards the bow and arrow fort. So from that location on the map, just come up to the edge here. You can see the little dragonflies in front of us there. That is photo number 13. We're going to find photo number 14 uh, by the elephant that's in the middle of the water. This is also close to where the token is going to be located. Token is underwater, you have to swim to it. However, the photo, you just gotta find the spot right in front of the elephant in order to take a photo of it. All right, so next up, lock box number 11. We're gonna go down to the fort in the southwest corner of the map. This is real easy, you're not gonna miss this one. It's gonna be in your path. You'd have to walk past it and completely be blind in order not to see it to open it. So make sure you open that up. Now, as you're approaching the fort entrance, once again, we're going to have an optional conversation here with Nadine. So again, just like we did previously, hit L3, look up there. That'll trigger Nadine to walk over to you and wish to start the optional conversation. And that'll be the last optional conversation in Chapter 4. avatar of the god Vishnu, a fearsome warrior. Trained in the martial arts by Shiva himself. All right, so the final lockbox in Chapter 4 is in the fort area. You have to climb up a whole bunch of cliffs, and eventually you're going to get to the top area. In the top area, you're going to have a lot of guys. It's going to be a little shootout here. And then you're going to go towards that structure over there out in front of me. So there's a little bridge that leads to that. The actual lockbox itself is in a little lower section here below the bridge. So we went counterclockwise around this entire map, and that was my last lockbox. As you can see, I did it through chapter select once again. Now, the only two things we miss are the two treasures kind of near the middle. So we're going to go and get those. They're going to be near each other. So from that location on the map, it's just going to be on the side of these runes here. And then there's going to be another treasure on the opposite side in the same set of structures here. So you can see my location there. We drove around the side of the building. Get out of your Jeep and then walk straight back here and you'll find the final collectible in chapter four. Welcome to the chapter five of the Lost Legacy collectible guide. We got a bunch of things we're gonna do here. We're gonna first get a treasure. We're gonna go up these stairs. You see the big open area there out in the distance of the waterfalls. Well, first thing we wanna do is drop down over to the left-hand side and we're going to pick ourselves up. Treasure number 31. 31 if you've collected all of them up until chapter five. All right, so now turn around, go back, and then kind of follow Nadine. We're going to have an optional conversation here. She's going to go to the stairs that lead nowhere, and that will prompt a optional conversation. you got to make sure you just stay with her in this area until that prompt comes up, and you will get that optional conversation. Now, a little later on, we're going to find a photo opportunity. We're going to swing across the grappling hook here over to the other side. Now, we're going to find a treasure up high there and then we're also going to find first a photo so let's get the photo first and we're going to go around the left side here and we're going it's going to lead us right to the photo location and right there you just saw it briefly popped up on my screen it's very tricky to find these things on your own so that is the 15th of 28 photos in the game now, as I mentioned, there's a treasure nearby, so let's go and get that. We can do that by turning around, jumping straight to the wall right in front of us, climbing up. up we go, then. Keep climbing. 
Now, once you're all the way up top here, we have okay. to drop down one more level here. So if it's not quite up here, it is down here. So once we've dropped down, all I need to do is turn around and pick up treasure number 32. This will take us to optional conversation number six. Now we're gonna climb up the hand here, a big stone hand. We do a lot of platforming in this part of the game. Now once you're up here, you and Nadine are going to uh, have a conversation, optional conversation, as long as you hit the prompt. So we're gonna go climb up on the little platform here to our right. Now the optional conversations are all the same. You just gotta, of course, wait for the three dots appear in the bubble above their head, hit triangle, initiate that, and let's go find a photo. You will find this photo once you climb all the way up here. And you got this little skinny passage here that we have to walk down. Now, you're going to have a short little brief cut scene between mm -hmm. Chloe and Nadine here. I'm going to cut it short for time. But as Bless soon it. as this cut scene's over, you're able to get the photo Bless grab here. So we're going to walk down. Now, here's how tricky it is to find these okay. little bubbles. I almost walk right past it before I notice it behind me. So make sure you don't swing over to the grapple hook first. Make sure you take the photo here. Really? When are you going to be back here? Let's go hit up another optional conversation. This we're going to find. This is number seven. We're going to climb up, and then we're going to drop in. into, the, uh, into the mountain, essentially. We finally made our way all the way up to the top of the statue and drop down. I'm going to go investigate these rocks wow. over here. Turn around, and there's going to be an optional conversation prompt right there. Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? Next up is treasure number 33. This is when you're going to have to grapple your way down. So you grapple and then you got to lower yourself on the grapple. And you may see the shiny treasure out there in the distance. So we're going to go jump over there, not drop over there, jump over there. Now we're going to stay in this room for the next photo. So from over here, I'm just going to kind of wander around like I don't know where I'm going. And go up to this door, interact with this prompt. There's an interesting dial there. Now once I get my bearings, I'm just going to turn around, walk over to where Nadine is right now, and this is where the photo location is. Just to the right of her. Alright, so we got another treasure. We're going to be in these catacombs here. And I'm going to go crawl, go left, right, eventually come out into an open room. And on the left side of this room on the ground is where you're going to find the treasure. All right, so we got another optional conversation here. We're going to spin this dial here to open up this door. We're going to walk in the door and the flames are going to light up the room for us. And I'm just going to go walk over to the opposite side, turn around, wait for Nadine to come over here. There we go. Initiate that conversation. And then we'll head towards another treasure. And this is treasure number 35. Once you get to the room with the, all the bones in it, you'll recognize it. Walk through these little two flame light sources here. And then to the left, keep going back this way, and this will lead you to the treasure. So the next treasure is after the big firefight here, you got the vehicle with the turret. You finally make your way to the uh, end of it. You're going to break through that door, and then you're going to drop down. Always going to be a little hurt. Alright, so we're supposed to go straight. We need to turn to the right, and in the corner to the right hand side, you'll see the blinking treasure. But at least we're not in the line of fire. Well, hopefully there's another way out. All right, so we got another optional conversation. Uh, Chloe's going to follow Nadine. Now, you Can notice Chloe's say, a little hurt there. She's got her hand on her sword. hip. I mean, and this is a pretty lengthy sword. walk up these stairs. But as long as you what? stay behind her, you will exactly see the prompt want. eventually sure for the optional conversation. Now, for some weird reason, as I'm following her, something distracts me, and I turn around. Thought maybe there's a grapple point over there. There's not, so I... Follow the path here, and there's the conversation. So that is the final op career. optional conversation in this chapter. Right and we have one more photo. And this photo is going to be when we slide down here, and we need to go this way and interact with that device and spin it. 
before you do that, turn around and there's another path. So instead of taking the right path to the uh, the dial you need to spin, take the left path and just follow okay. this to the end and okay. this yeah, will lead you to the uh, final photo in time. chapter 5. Somewhere over here, I promise. There it is. Go ahead and snap that. Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 6 of the Uncharted Lost Legacy Collectible Guide and we're going to kick things off here at the section where you got the APC circling around. Now there are two lockboxes in this area. One here to the right hand side of the area and then one of course to the left hand side. Both of which contain a RPG which you can use to uh, destroy the APC. Of course there is a trophy for overkilling it with, a, uh, with a C4. And so I highly recommend you get that trophy, but you do need to get the lockbox. This is number 13 out of 21, and there's the RPG. And we're going to go and skip over to the left-hand side now. So that was the right-hand side. Now we're going to go over to the left-hand side. You can see the APC circling around. And we're going to go ahead and dig inside of here and, of course, find another RPG that we can use. Now, moving on to our first treasure. This is a little bit later on. You and Nadine are going to be uh, underground again. You're going to come to this room and then uh, exit out of it. As soon as you exit out of it, you want to turn to your right, and you'll find it right here on the steps. Next treasure is going to be a little bit later on. You're going to crawl through here. you got some bats that are going to come out and try to scare you. As you come out of this area, you're going to circle to the right. It's actually right above us to the left right now. So we have to kind of circle around uh, counterclockwise to get to this treasure. So make sure you come back for this one. You have to go up those stairs as part of the story. Just make sure you take the little left turn there. All right, so now for photo number 19. This is obvious. It's in front of the elephants. Now, i got to make a correction here. The stats screen says there's 28 photos in the game, so all previous chapters I've set X out of 28. Unfortunately, if you count up all the actual photos in the chapter select screen, there's only 27. So from this point forward, I'm just going to say it's X out of 27. So once you get the photo in front of the elephants, come over here. Before you climb up and go up those stairs, there's a treasure off to the right-hand side. There's a lot we're going to get in this little area here. So once you're done with the elephant area, climb up those rocks. Before you go up those stairs in front of us, turn around, wait for Nadine, and we can get ourselves our 10th optional conversation. What's the difference? Smaller. Smaller, yes. Sort of a double jump. And the third and final lockbox in this area is right at the top of these stairs. So keep going up here. There's two boxes, one of which is locked, and those are the ones that count towards the lockbox trophy. Nice of a serve to leave some supplies for us. So go ahead, open this thing up, grab whatever goodies out of here you want. And I went to the next box. Now from there, just go up these stairs, but don't go any further. Climb up this little platform here and up with these rocks, and then jump across to the up pillar there. right in front of us. And this is going to be photo number 20 out of 27. Again, I've changed it from 28 to 27. I'm guessing one of them might count twice. I'm not entirely sure how it works. It's a little bug, obviously. All right, from that point, turn left and then jump across to these rocks and then up another rock and then up another one here. And I had to make a quick edit. I had a corrupted file. So come in here and you'll find the treasure right in front of you. That's number 40 and there's one more collectible in chapter six. So from that location, carry onward. You're gonna see another grapple swing here. We're right above where the two lock boxes or the boxes were. And here is our final treasure in chapter six. Hello everyone, welcome to chapter seven in the Lost Legacy. There are a ton of collectibles in here. The first photo is actually gonna be right here in the beginning. Now, as you see, previously I said there were 27 treasures. Now I'm going back to 28. There's actually an error on the uh, chapter select screen that says there's only six photos in chapter seven, when in reality, there's seven. So there's an error, a little bug on the uh, chapter select screen. Now the first lockbox, the first and only lockbox here in chapter seven is once you swing over to this area and there's gonna be a whole bunch of combat here for you, you're gonna find the lockbox right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up, see what we got inside. 
Nothing too exciting, but we'll go ahead and pick that up and move on to treasure number 42. Uh, shortly after the, the previous encounter, you're going to come in through here, and then you're going to see there's a path to the right, but it's blocked off. At the end of this path right there is where the treasure is. So in order to get that, we're going to have to go back outside and then jump over to that location. So we're going to jump over here. Oh, no, not, not fall there. Let's climb back up. Let's go ahead and make the jump. And then shimmy over here to the left. Climb up, and there's the treasure. We're going to go find treasure number 43. This is once you reach this area here. There's a big statue there. You can look at it if you'd like. But you're going to come up here. The path is blocked ahead, so we're going to have to crawl up. However, before you do that, make sure you grab the treasure on the back side of that monument. And now treasure number 44. You're going to come to this area. Path's going to get blocked again. You're supposed to go swimming down the hole right there. So before we go swim, come back to this corner and you'll find the treasure. Now go ahead, jump into that hole, swim. And then when you come out the opposite side, go over here to the left. There's actually a couple things we're going to do in here. If you go in here, there's a little hidden pathway here. We're going to have to swim down in order to get to this treasure. All right, so we got a photo. Now we're going to go up and we're going to go towards the stairs. Once we get to the stairs, we are going to have a photo opportunity. Again, there is an error on the chapter select screen stating there's six photos in this uh, chapter when in reality there's seven. So go ahead, take this photo. There's also an optional conversation with Nadine right here. Uh, you might have to inspect that statue that's, she, that's behind her. Once you've done that, you can then go and talk to her. There's an optional conversation. So again, you have to interact with the uh, look at the statues in the background there. Not surprised with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city in a way. All right, so next up, we are going to have another treasure. Once you get to this room here with the altar, there's actually two treasures in this room. There's one in this corner back here. Now from this location, let's go to treasure number 47. This is going to be along the inner wall here. Alright, so now we're going to go to a photo. So you're going to come out out of that altar room and then you're gonna this is the next area you come to and you have this big gap we gotta cross when you gotta take a detour in order to get across it so we're gonna come down these stairs at the bottom of these stairs before you drop down is a photo now once you've taken this photo we're gonna drop down into the water so we're right below where we just were now we're gonna swim to the front left corner here and we're gonna have to swim down in order to find this treasure Okay, so once you've picked up this treasure, we're going to go to the opposite end of this room. We're going to swim down a tunnel. Once you come out of that tunnel, you're going to come up here. Go straight in front of you. You can see a little path here. There's a treasure at the end of this. Now, once you've picked up this treasure, you're going to have to climb up. And as you're climbing up, you're going to reach the end where the exit door is. However... Prior to exiting, you're going to have a optional photo here with, uh, with actually an interactive one with Nadine. It's actually kind of, kind of cute. So let's go ahead and, and watch a little bit of this. Hi, you all right? Sorry, I'm... I to get my head back in the game now. Hey, Nadine Ross. It's nice to see Chloe and Nadine's relationship start to grow. All right, so after that, we're finally going to make it across into this room here there's a couple things we're going to do here first we're going to get an optional photo and that is going to be right in front of us right here to so take a picture of that statue now in this same room before we go swimming off to the next destination we're going to go to the back left corner to find treasure number 50.
All right, so now that you picked that up, we're free to swim over to the next area. And the next area is the final area in this chapter. There's a bunch of things we're going to get here. First is a photo. And you have to position yourself right here in the center of the room. Take that photo. Once you've done that, we are going to go to the left side of the room in the, uh, in the water area. Now you're going to see this rock here in the corner. Just past it, we're going to have to swim down in order to find treasure number 51. Alright, so now we're going to swim up. We're going to head up to the, uh, the big monument here. And inside of this little thing we got to climb into is where treasure number 52 is. Now you have to go to the left-hand side in order to climb up a ladder. But before you do that, you want to swing around the outside to the right... So swing around this contraption here, take this all the way to the end, alright so treasure number 54, now we're going to go up that ladder that I mentioned, well not really a ladder, but we're going to swing up here, instead of going up those stairs, we are going to climb up this to the end where you'll find the treasure. Not this way. So now that we've picked that up, we're gonna this go up and we're gonna have to interact with this dial. We're gonna have to spin it. Once you've done that, this is gonna trigger an optional conversation with Nadine. So we're gonna move this hand over. Now a lot of the collectibles in this area, you can kind of go about and kind of get one and or the other and kind of do it in a different order from which I'm doing it. That's Vasuki. We had to basically move the two arms, the left arm and the right arm, to get them in position. So right now I'm over at the left arm, and we have to spin that dial over there. Before or after you spin that dial, drop down over here and you'll find the treasure. This isn't on the exact opposite side as where we just were, where we got the optional conversation. We'll actually head back there right now. We're back on that side, and there's another dial up high here. Now there's two treasures in here, so before we climb up, we're actually going to drop down. And you'll find the treasure right here in the corner. Now we're going to go climb back up. So from that location, we're going to climb back outside. And the dial is actually going to be just up ahead here. And we're going to skip it for the moment. Once you spin this dial, you're going to have the trident. You're going to have to climb up the handle. So in order to climb up the handle, you come up this way. When you're up here, swing all the way around to the back of this area and you'll find the treasure. Alright, so now after you've gone to the other side and you're spinning this thing with the prism... Uh, spin it until Nadine starts talking and then drop what you're doing completely just ignore the prism don't even line it up wait for Nadine to just kind of walk around she's gonna talk and an optional conversation is gonna pop up now my first time through here I missed it I didn't do it in time because I was futzing with the prism so make sure you get this uh, optional conversation before you uh, finish lining up the prism perfectly but once she starts talking that's your uh, clue to do it next up is an last uh, optional or, or last photo and that's when Nadine is using the mirror she's becoming a statue herself so we're gonna of course take a picture of that so just wait here long enough for the uh, the opportunity there to pop up Hello everyone, before we begin the collectibles here in this chapter I just want to let you know there's a spoiler here a third person joins my party you may not want to know about it if you don't Stop the video now. Last warning. Here we go. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of collectibles here in Chapter 8. Starting off with a treasure right at the very beginning of the chapter. As soon as you begin it, go to the cliff, head left, drop down, and then you can pick up this one. This will also lead us into an optional conversation. So we're going to go climb back up. And we'll find Sam at the cliff here. Go ahead and talk to him. And that will do it for that conversation. So we're going to progress just a little further on. You're going to squeeze through this small little opening. And you're supposed to climb up the rocks to the right-hand side. Before you do that, jump into the water. 
And if you thought we had to swim to get this one, well, you're correct. So dive down, and there is the treasure. Now, the another treasure is going to be located uh, above us a, a little bit. So we're going to swim to the top here, and we're going to go up these rocks here. I told you not to go up. So we're going to go up a couple times here, and we're going to get to a little mud slide where we're supposed to kind of jump to the other side. But we're going to jump, and we're going to slide down and actually jump up on the same side here on the left. So don't jump to the other side. Just jump here, or slide, and then jump. Make a leap there at the end, and then climb up this, drop down, and you'll find treasure number 60. All right, so a little bit later on, you're going to... Uh, crawl along the wall here and then you're going to jump up and this path is ultimately going to lead us to a fence that's kind of blocking our path but there's an opening at the top of it that we can climb over we don't want to climb past it just yet instead once you get down here go to the back right corner and you'll find the treasure behind the rock now picking up this treasure we're going to parlay this into our next optional conversation so as soon as you pick this up go walk over to Nadine and you'll have a conversation with her. Hey, thanks for not murdering Sam, by the way. He might prove useful later. Speaking of our next collectible will be another optional conversation, and that is gonna be after Sam uh, makes it over the tracks here. You had to push this cart in order for him to leap across. Now once he leaps across, you're kinda of supposed to go back towards the opposite end. You're gonna to wanna to follow Nadine. Don't do that, instead, stay with Sam, keep an eye on him, and you'll see the conversation bubble pop up here in a moment. I never would have found you without her help, okay? So now we got another treasure. This treasure is going to be once you get to this section here and you're supposed to climb up. You're gonna attach a rope and you're gonna climb up. You're gonna let Sam climb first and you're gonna use the same rope to climb up yourself. Don't do that just yet, so don't hit X to climb up. Instead, take this alternate path winding back around here to the wall, to the cliff face here, and we're just going to navigate our way over to a treasure, and I promise at the end of this, there's going to be a treasure. And there it is. So we got another optional conversation after this. This is going to be kind of in that cave system, and there's a big encounter that happens here. At the very end of it, you guys are going to regroup over here by these rocks. Uh, this is where you can talk to Nadine. So go ahead and do that. Have that optional conversation. And let's find our final photo in the game. This is going to be after you swing over here. You're going to do this little sliding section here. And you're going to leap to a wall here in just a moment. Make sure you throw your pick in there. And climb up. Out in the distance, you see some trains. That is what we're going to take a picture of. So just go to the end of the cliff here and take a photo. Now, right behind us is a treasure. So we're going to go and get that. But in order to get that, you have to climb up this way. Now, this is part of the story path, so you have to come this way. So we're going to make our way up here. Now, there's going to be a split in the path here. You're supposed to go up. However, to get the treasure, you need to go down. Got something for you. That so we just got a couple more treasures here. And then a whole bunch of lockboxes. But the next treasure is going to be after you drop that gray crate onto the cart. That allows you to get up here. Sam's going to help you up. Now you're going to have to go through the tunnel to the left-hand side here. Now you may have seen this treasure slightly earlier, but you weren't able to access it until now. This is the part where you lifted Sam up on the, uh, the ladder and then it broke, so you had to find the alternate path. So make sure you double back to get that treasure. Final treasure in this chapter is going to be an interesting one. You're going to reach this section, see the trains there, you're going to grapple, and you're supposed to swing over to that building right there. However, Swing backwards and then drop to a lower platform from what you just were at. And then you're going to find Skelliseer. This is the Last of Us Left Behind DLC Easter egg. You guys might remember it where Ellie found this and she asked it a bunch of funny questions and then looked at the answer. Well, you got to do the same thing for this uh, Shake for Your Fortune trophy. Because you get a trophy for finding just this one. So I ask a question, flip it over. And you'll at some point get a trophy there. Shake for your fortune. All right, so there are five lockboxes at the end of the level. This is the helicopter encounter. Now, I cleared out all the enemies. And I'm not going to open up the boxes for the uh, sake of time here. So what you're going to want to do is open up all these. So you can 
clear all the enemies before you uh, destroy the helicopter if you want to be able to get this. Just make sure the helicopter doesn't see you. So that was one lockbox. They're all orange here, by the way. There's one straight in front of us. Now, if you do get uh, tagged by the helicopter, uh, you can lose them easily. It's not too difficult. I find swimming in the water, underwater, is, is a good way to lose them. Stay in the high bushes. Here's another lockbox that's in the center of the area. So there are two on the left-hand side, one in the center, and there's two kind of on the right-hand side. The first three of these of which you open will contain a RPG. And there was the fourth lockbox, and oh, of course the helicopter just saw me, but here's the final one, it's in the back of this truck. So there we go, good enough. You guys know where they're at, you know what to do. Hello everyone, Brian and PS4 Trophies, the final chapter in Uncharted Lost Legacy, Chapter 9. There are three collectibles, all treasures here in this chapter. Most of this chapter, well half the chapter you're driving, the other half you're climbing on trains. But when you're on the train, when you first get on the train, the caboose, the end of the train, get to the top of it and you will find the first of three treasures. Alright, so a little bit later on, uh, you, again, you're going to be bouncing between uh, in, in vehicles and on the train, but you're going to come through this train car here, the open sides on both on each side, and we need to kind of get to the front of this train car, and we are going to find it kind of in a little cubby up here. We just got to jump onto this unit in order to grab it. pick that up and then finally uh, a little bit later on you're going to come to a train car you're gonna come through here and then you're gonna find this one on the left side there's a little uh, railing here on the left hand side just shimmy all the way over to pick that up that's it for chapter 9 not a whole lot to do here not very difficult I want to thank you guys all so much for watching the trophy guides the collectible playlist appreciate it I really do it means a lot to me make sure you guys hit the like button and of course if you're a trophy hunter subscribe